here we are. This is the VIX called the Volatility Index. So when the S&P 500 was crashing, this fear indicator on a weekly chart is broke up to all-time highs. Back in 2010, when we put a bottom in the market, we were right up here. And that's a double top on that VIX. When this goes higher, stocks sell out. We've had a three-week straight breakout on this volatility index. When this goes higher, then the S&P has been selling off. When we get to a top, when the fear indicator gets to a top and it does reverse, until that happens, we do not have a market bottom. Volatility index, the VIX market volatility CBO index, fear indicator pumping at all-time highs. Just as we said, it was set up for a huge breakout. Equities go into the toilet. The fear is finally breaking out. We told people in 2011 they were too complacency. There was no fear in the market. Everything was correct. But then, <coughs> bam, and the markets go down big. We were down 605 points one time on the Dow today. And that fear indicator equals the S&P 500 index. That's this uh, weekly chart making all-time highs and making all-time lows in the indexes intraday. Bigger selling today than last week. Below the 11,000, the VIX is at all-time breakout highs. In 2008, we went to such high levels of fear, and it went right up here to 80. No one had ever seen that. We were involved in that whole thing in 2008. And you remember how bear markets were created. And we're at a double top from 2010 to 2011. We're right back where we started a year ago. And like I said, the truth always catches up to the manipulation. There are much higher levels that we can go up to on this VIX still, the fear indicator. Well, I could draw a trend line right there on a weekly. Then there's another one right up here at a neckline. So the fear is elevated, but complacency was here in 2011. That's when we said there was a big short coming, and we were right there on it, and we were building into that fear right here above that 200-week moving average, and the fear has gone higher. Five twenty, we were five ninety-nine, sixty-nine handles on the S and P. That's the update on the fear indicator. This is what happens to bulls when they get complacent. They got really complacent over here. 2008, 2009, at certain times I got complacent, but those were just pops because we were early in the bull rally. Then it went straight down. When it fell straight down, we were rallying to all-time highs. Now, index is selling off to all-time lows, and we're breaking out to all-time highs on the fear indicator. Update MMTs.